Hello and welcome to this talk. Today I am going to talk about cancer and the holistic approach and how holistic approach can help you manage cancer. Few days back my friend Lou Coutinho uh, did a video on breast cancer and the management and prevention of breast cancer through nutrition and various other holistic approaches. And since Luke and I have been working together on PCOS and on cancer cases, we have found that this integrated approach helps a lot of our patients to overcome a lot of uh, health issues and especially helps in cancer also. So cancer is the most dreaded disease of modern times. Nowadays we see that a lot of news comes about some premature death due to ca cancer or some uh, body getting really cured of his cancer because of some uh, homeopathic remedy or some nutritional tip and so many other things. So let's try and understand about cancer in, in detail. Basically why we all fear about cancer is because we definitely connect cancer to death. That is the biggest reason why it is the most dreaded disease. Uh, so, how can we use certain nutrition techniques and certain uh, holistic techniques to overcome this cancer? Okay, as Luke uh, rightly said in his video, a lot of people don't die because of the cancer itself or because of the tumor itself, but because of the treatment and the side effects of the treatment. So, let's try and see what are the safer options available. But before that, Let's see what actually cancer is. So in order to understand this, we must understand that we all are made of trillions of cells working together in harmony. And these cells form the basic unit of our being. So all these cells are governed by an energy which is called prana in yogic terms. So each cell, as we see, has its own memory has its own defense mechanism and it comes together to form a group of cells together form a specific organ or form specific functions. So as these cells grow they have a definite regulated function and they grow in a definite regulated manner and have a definite lifespan. But ultimately they have to die and new cells have to be formed. This is what happens or is supposed to happen naturally and this happens scientists say that this happens because of the influence of what they call now as the suicide gene so when the suicide gene sends a message that the job of a cell is done then it dies and it disintegrates but if this does not happen if for some reason this cell does not get the message from the suicide gene and continues to grow then it will ultimately affect the DNA and it becomes a rogue cell and it starts replicating thousand times than what was required and ultimately a tumor develops. But the tumor develops, by the time the tumor develops, the cell has undergone changes at a lot of levels. So finally when the diagnosis comes, the cancer has already spread in your body many a times. So it can depend that it can take many years for the actual symptoms to be noticeable and the actual diagnosis to be made. And at times it is already late or that is the reason why sometimes it is very tricky because what we are seeing is already the spread of cancer. So the early diagnosis of cancer is also very very important. Now. What leads to the uh, change in behavior of cells? The cells were supposed to replicate in a regulated manner, but then what happens? What goes wrong? And here we see that there are many, many factors. The genetic factor, the environments, the food, the lifestyle, and so many other things that can trigger off uh, the abnormal growth of the cells. So there are emotional factors, depression, all this plays a very, very important role. Researchers in neuroendocrinology have found out that there are certain molecules which are produced when we are happy. So when we have good emotions like joy, compassion, love, etc. They produce molecules like oxytocin and serotonin which are very very positive molecules. 
while negative emotions like anger guilt shame depression etc produce more of adrenaline and cortisol now these molecules act as an immune modulator and they can influence our biology so if we have more of positive molecules then obviously the effects will be positive and the negative molecules will interfere in the healing process they will raise our blood pressure they will cause inflammation and ultimately cause cancer so we are exposed to numerous situations in our daily life which trigger off the good or bad immune modulating factors to be released so the idea is through whatever nutrition exercise and homeopathy we try to maintain this balance now uh, here i would i would try and tell you what the role of homeopathy is basically so basically as i said in in the beginning that uh, our life is governed by the energy called prana so in homeopathy we believe that this energy uh, in homeopathic terms we call it vital force and we believe that the disturbance in this energy really triggers off a lot of things in our body at not only at the emotional level but at every cellular level also and the more this energy is balanced the more healthier you would be now your individual response to the external stimuli is also important so for example if all of us are on a trip to let's say lonawla and we get exposed to the rain we get wet in the rain we eat at the same hotel we travel through the same bus and all these factors are common for us the atmosphere was common the food was common and uh, the the place also was common but at the end of the day what you see is that when we come back home out of 10 people let's say four develop diarrhea and two or three develop uh, respiratory complaints and so on and the rest of the five are absolutely healthy so why does this happen this happens because our own response to the external stimuli is different so this is very very important when we talk about holistic care unlike in modern medicine where each one would uh, get the same medicine for uh, diarrhea or for the cold and coryza or for the complaints after getting wet they would get the analgesic the anti allergic and so on and so forth in homeopathy we con- we consider this individual response and prescribe accordingly so this is why homeopathy is known as a more specific more individualistic science your response to the external environment your response to the external triggering factors is going to be different that is the main difference between the modern medicine and the homeopathy uh, when we try to consider a wellness plan for you as a person so we consider you as a person as a whole and not just the affected part so uh, this is the holistic approach that dr hanuman who himself was actually an allopathic practitioner of his time he discovered when he was uh, working on on the health of individuals and when he was not satisfied with the treatments given at that time because they produced a lot of side effects and that is what dr hanuman was not satisfied with so he tried a lot with all the natural plants and minerals and the animals and developed a full proof homeopathic system which is very very effective now uh, as i said that we are governed by this vital force or vital energy so what hanuman also said that balance in this energy means that we are well and imbalance means that we are diseased this is the basis of homeopathy and this is the basis of our existence in this universe so wherever you are whatever you are if you are balanced in your response to the external stimuli you will be absolutely healthy you will be vibrating with the pattern of Uh, the uh, the entire environment so that will not create any friction between you and between the environment thereby making you absolutely balanced and healthy so uh, this is how homeopathy actually works on you as a person now how can homeopathy help in cancer 
So for example, there are specific homeopathic remedies which can enhance your immunity and fight specific cancer cells. Homeopathic remedies can be used to support the weakened organs to eliminate toxins. Now what happens is that many a times the patient comes to us at a very last stage. So he's already on chemo, he's already having a lot of problems because of radiation and the side effects and all that. So many times we need to manage these side effects by supporting the organs affected, by helping eliminate the toxins that are accumulated. So we have homeopathic remedies which can work in a rapid and gentle manner to eliminate toxins, to enhance your immunity and to enhance and to fight the cancer cells. At times, cancer patients have a lot of pain, so homeopathy can work on uh, minimizing this pain and controlling this pain in a big way. In terminal stages of cancer, we can use uh, homeopathic remedies to increase the quality of our life. So homeopathy on the whole not only helps you to uh, palliate, but in many cases it helps you to overcome or reverse the uh, pathology also. As I said that homeopathic remedies are considered on all the factors that are responsible for your current response, homeopathy will act in a more deep and in a more holistic manner. So we have enough of evidence to show that just one modality of treatment is not effective in cancer. Surgical removal, radiation, chemotherapy often cause a lot of suppression and often cause the immune system to be suppressed further. Today, science has come a long way ensuring health care and drastic changes in lifestyle and food habits have taken their toll causing our energy circuits in our body to be compensated and weakened. So homeopathy can help you detox at a mental level, at an emotional level, at a physical level. Yoga also helps you to detox at a physical level and the right kind of nutrition which is required provides you the energy for cell building. So combination of all three, homeopathy, yoga as well as nutrition will help the all pervasive energy that is prana to communicate with each and every cell of our body and if used, harmoni if used harmoniously it can synthesize uh, and make you a better person. So homeopathy, yoga and nutrition can work towards ensuring what we call as swasthya. In, in Sanskrit, this is a beautiful word that describes our well-being. Swasthya means to be balanced. So if you want to achieve a balance, switch over to homeopathy, yoga and nutrition. Thank you very much.